All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Bakugan video. This is the Night Core Brawler, and I am truly sorry for uh, the fact that I haven't been able to make a video for the past two, three weeks. I really can't remember how long it's been, but here I am now. I am sorry this video is going to make up for that. So, yeah, of course, if you haven't seen the thumbnail, this video is going to be three video, like three videos, three products in one video, and. They're actually pretty cool products. Like, the first product is the Nilius Cubo, the uh, second one. The You can get one of the first one from the Dragonoid Nilius Cubo. Yeah, Dragonoid Cubo, Dra Nilius Cubo versus pack that you can get. That Dr Cubo has a different s stat line. So, this, like, this was also the cheapest one. Then, of course, the, uh, well, Dirkus Neo Platinum Pegatrix with Auralis Blade and Aquas, um, Siphon. So, yeah, this is actually my first ever Blade, by the way, so it's gonna be cool to see what that looks like. So there's the back. Kinda wish we got this, like, color scheme instead of what we got, instead of what we got here, but, oh well. So that's that one. And then the e, Battle Amp Pack. Finally got one. So this comes with Pyrus Talon, Darkus Enoch Ultra, the Twilight Axes with the other two of these again, Auxilator, Auralis, and Aquas Nano Fury. So yeah. So going to start this video off with the cheapest, moving up to the expensive, we're going to start off with Cubo. So. Yeah, this was five dollars from a uh, Kmart. Kmart is like Austra is the Australian version of I think Walmart or something. I don't know, but whatever. I got it. It was cheap. Five dollars. It works. Yeah. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm just cutting the plastic strips off. If I can actually get the wait, hang on. I think I need to cut the one. Yeah, I need to cut one. There we go. Strips are off. Not my first Nilius Carbo, mind you, but not. But hopefully, like maybe they'll make more. It'd be cool. And there is Carbo. I'll get the cards and cores out. There we go. So the cores are a plus six hundred B power, negative three damage <sighs> helix. So pretty alright. And the other one is a plus three hundred B plus three da damage uh, helix. So also alright. The gate card is Serran versus Dragonoid. Yep. So, 600 the Pyrus, 300 the Aquas, 0 the Ventus, 500 who Chaos, negative 300 who Auralis, 400 who Darkus, and it comes with a green fist core. Like, that's odd, this is for Helix, but whatever. And the character card is right here. So, yeah, this is a different, this is the same combo, it's just got different stats. So, who Helix cores. 900 B power, 4 damage, no effect. So actually pretty decent. Actually pretty decent combo. Like, not gonna lie. Like, I mean, you can use this one and the other one in the same deck. So, yeah. So here is combo. The arms oof, are manual. So they do fold up and down. The uh, hat can come off. Revealing the darkest symbol on the back. The B power is right there. It is a bit blurry, but it's there. So to fold him, so you just fold down the arms, fold the ears in, and push up the the bottom part. That, that that's that's all it takes to fold him up. That's all it takes. Move his hat out of the way. So time to roll them out. 
Three, two, one, roll. There we go. Yep. All good. Yeah, I thought I saw some, thought I heard something, but that's okay. So there is Carbo. So yeah. moving on to the next bottle gone product will be the Pegatrix. So yeah, this is actually my uh, second Batman Pegatrix because I got the Aquas version. So getting this version is actually kind of cool. Scissors. Be careful, kiddos. You don't want to cut yourself. Ask your parents. Eh. 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 Pegatrix. Oops. Siphon. And blade. Getting things out of the other packet. There we go. So, collections sheet. Like the. Yeah. I'm still looking for the Prisma Dragonoid. It's just... I haven't found it. Kinda sucks. The gate card is this one. I actually don't think I have this one, so this is actually pretty cool. 100 through Pyrus, 800 through Aquas, 400 through Ventus, 0 to Chaos, 200 through Oros, 400 to Darkness, and uh, Magic Shield. So, yeah, this is Cynthia's cutting the wave in her. Like, cutting the wave. I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The cores are a plus 500B magic shield. Pretty decent. Like, third best, I believe, maybe. And a plus 250B, plus 3 damage, uh, red fist. Yeah. Also pretty decent. Oof. Now for the Nanogon and Bakugon, gonna start off with Aqua Siphon. So this is the like first Aqua Siphon I've ever gotten, and I've gotten many siphons. So yeah, so on a uh, orange shield, like if you have an orange shield, you get to add a core from the field to your active Bakugon, and if you have a shield and green fist. You not only get to add a core from your um site from the field to your active buckle gun, you get, get also get two hundred B power as well. So they're yeah, pretty decent earlyish game. So here is Siphon, pretty pretty nice blue. Bottom out. One, two, oh sorry, try and get on the camera. Fold out the front and back, fold the head around. Now you could actually leave it like this, but what I like to do is I fold the back around, fold the sides, and there, that's siphon. So I'll put in there. Now, blade on the other hand, blade is a completely different nanogon. I've never seen blade before. Actually, I've seen people open blade, I've just never opened him myself. So, here is blade. So, he has a reroll effect, so that's pretty cool. Mm. He, on a orange shield, you get plus 200 big power. On two orange shields, you get plus 600. So, that's actually pretty decent for shield decks. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. I might actually use him. So, here is Blade. So, let me see. How do I open him? Nice little gold, uh, Oralus faction symbol there. So, oh, okay. This thing. Fold. Oh, fold. Oh, wait, hang on. Fold that out. Then fold this one around. Oop. Aaron, what the hell? Um. It just. What? It just broke. That wasn't supposed to happen.
That was not supposed to happen. That was not meant to break. Try and fix it. Let me see. Huh. That is strange. It's not meant to do that. Has, has, has anyone else's blade done that before? Because I don't think mine was supposed to do that. I think I may need to contact Spin Master about this and actually um, say that, hey, one of my nanogons broken and, and whatnot. Try and get an imprint in. Right, there it is. Okay, so I think I may need to either get a new blade. Or somehow contact Spin Master and say that my blade is broken. Because it, it just fell apart. And it wasn't meant to. I think my... I think it's actually missing parts. Hey, uh, Buckle Brad, I know you've opened this before, but has your blade broken? Please, let me know. Like, my god, that was not meant to happen. Um, yeah, that was, that was weird. Has your blade, has anyone's blade, like, broken before? Like that? No, no, I gotta get the bloody thing on there again. Shit. Come on, get back on there. Come on. Come on. Back on there. Maybe I'll fall up and then put the thing back on. Maybe I can just, like, glue it back, like, glue it on, maybe? But I think I'm missing pieces from it. Like, there's supposed to be, like, these little silver bars that go through to keep it all together, and I must be missing a couple of pieces, a couple of parts, because they're not, it's not staying together. And I don't see anything on the on the mat here, so I think they just forgot to put them in. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to find the receipt and everything for it. But yeah, it's just that's weird. Uh, well, whatever then. Um, I suppose I'll move on. But that is weird. Like, yeah. Anyways, I'm still able to use the card, though. Like, it's fine, but the, the figure, however, oh boy. But, anyways, moving on, um, I'll sort that out eventually, but whatever. But moving on, <sighs> Platinum Neo Pegatrix. <sighs> shield, Magic Shield, Fire Fist, yeah, Magic, Blue, eh, Blue Shield, Red Fist, or Magic Shield, Fire Fist, whatever you want to call them. 700 B power, 6 damage, no effect. My god. Uh, I don't like the artwork though. It's a pretty, pretty neat artwork. And here is Neo Pegatrix. I actually like this. It's actually pretty cool. It's like similar to my, uh... Ooh, it's like, it's like my, uh, Platinum Kuriyami here. But, flipped. <laughs> yes, I have two... Mascot Pokemon, Pokemon? Mascot Bakugan now. My regular Darkest Kuriyami, the first one, and the Platinum version. So, yeah. So here is Pegatrix, of course. The B-Power is in the wing there. 
in a nice little light green. So yeah, to fold up Patrick's, you fold up the back, you fold up the back feet, you fold up the front feet, you fold in the head, you fold down the middle, like that, you fold in the wings, and you fold up the tail, like that. So there you go, there is Pegatrix. Kinda wish we had the uh, flipped version of this where the body is black, the wings are, and everything uh, pink, but whatever. This is actually pretty cool. So, let me siphon out of the way. Three, two, one, bro. Nope. Three, two, one, bro. No. I'm gonna put another gate card down. There we go. A little bit of help. Maybe the other cause. From <coughs> Cabo. There we go. That might help. There we go. That's the arrow. Do, do, do. Three, two, one, bro. There we go. There's Patrix. So there's Patrix. Again, kind of sucks that we, um, Blade broke. I will probably try and get a replacement for that eventually, maybe. I don't know. But, anyways. That is those. Out of the way. Do -do -do. Cards and bottom. Then moving on to the final product. The biggest one of them all. Eh. The amp pack, the battle amp pack. So time to open this back way up. Oof, big package. I'm open bigger. Oof. I am uh, a little bit on the coffee side and the sniffly side. Like, like yeah, I'm a bit sick. And I don't know why. <laughs> I just am. Cause. Cards. Customer service, instruction sheet, and gate cards. That's that. Move them out of the way. All out of the way. Do -do 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 -do. Yep. And now for the popcorn stuff. Twilight axes and uh, those little things, don't know what they are. Auxilit Hall. It's actually the first time I've actually gotten an Auxilit Hall in this uh, series. Legends just came out recently too. They have the um, a tin in a Kmart that I looked at. Enoch. Fury. And 
That one. Sorry for that. I was trying to get him out. Yeah. Right. Start off with... Here's the customer service. Like, I'll probably need to call them for my blade. About my blade. Um... It's actually been a while since I've actually seen one of these before, but... Folding instructions for Enoch. These are using the, uh... Oof, Armored Alliance... Colors. So, from Armored Alliance. From... Yeah. From when they had... Folding sheet. Like, folding instructions for your Ultras. Ah. Get them out of the way. The gate cards that come with this set are <coughs> Nilius versus Talon, so 500 the Pyrus, negative 300 the Aquas, 600 the Ventus, 400 who Chaos, 0 who Aurelus, 300 who Darkus, and a Shield, and Dragonoid, so 100 who Pyrus, Aquas, Ventus, and Aurelus. And 600 through Darkers and Pyrus with a magic, magic fist? No, red fist, fire fist, whatever you want to call it. So those are the gate cards. The cores are a... Alright, plus 150B, plus 4 damage helix. A plus 600B, negative 3, no, that red fist. This is the Helix, plus 600B, negative 3 damage, Helix. And both the plus 300 and negative 300B orange shields. <coughs> the Nanogon is Fury, so Aquas Fury. If you have a Red Fist, uh, you get to remove a core from your opponent. And if you have a red fist and shield, not only do you get to remove a core from your opponent, but you also get plus 200B, so yeah. Not my first Fury, but won't be my last either. I think they're bringing out more Nanogons in Legends, maybe. I think. I don't know. I haven't gotten the Legends product yet. Maybe, 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 maybe this week I might get one. So... Yeah, here is Fury, little blue bird. Uh, to fold him, I like to fold the head around and then fold it in to make it easy to actually grab. So it's like, so it's like this. I am sorry for like being off, out of view. Like, it's hard to film. So, like, what I do is like, fold, I fold the head around and then fold it in so that it's easier to grab. Fold up the tail. Fold one side of the wing, and then fold the other side. And there we go. Fury. That makes two uh, Aquas Nanogon that I've got now. That's actually pretty cool. The Geogon <coughs> is Talon. So, two energy to play, 1300 B power, 5 damage. The thing is, is that this is actually from Geogon Rising. This is the Geogon Rising Talon. Because it's got the uh, card down here. So you can actually effectively use this one twice. Like, use this card in the same deck twice. But you can pick the Evolutions Coloring Talon or the Geogon Rising Talon. So it's actually pretty decent. So here is Talon, of course. So I actually like this design. It's actually a pretty cool design. But it's pretty neat. Uh, hang on one second. Alright, I'm back. Oh, let me get coming up. Oh, there we go. So here is the Geogon Rising Talon. So, dark red, like, not that vibrant. Green, instead of the blue, yellow, the orange, like, everywhere. But this is the Geogon Rising Talon. And here is the Evolutions Talon. Which one do you think I would prefer to use more, huh? The Geogon Rising Dark Red, or the Evolutions Light Red? Yeah, I think I'm going with this one if I'm using a talent in a deck. But yeah. So, of course, the fold up talent. I think you've seen this like many times already in other reviews of talent. 
But to fold them up, you first fold the head all the way up. You fold the body down, at simultaneously folding the like back bit up. And then fold it so that it like, just rests like that. Fold the tail feathers up, and then fold the wings. There you go. There is Talon in its uh, rectangular prism version of itself. But yeah. So, drop him in three, two, one. There we go. Of course, the ooh, B power is, of course, right there. It's the same on the Geogon Rising pal Palin as well. So, yeah. Kind of sucks that they uh, did that. But, anyways, this is actually something that is very awesome that they've done. But they've given us a new. Well, it's tec technically not a new, um, card. It's just Mute and Me. This card is Mute and Me, alright? Twilight Axes, four energy to play. Rapid Fire, the second Rapid Fire card you play this turn is three. Uh, 300 big power, three damage. Actually pretty decent. This is a, uh, epic rare? Super rare, not epic rare. What is epic rare? I don't think there is an epic rare. There is Super Rare, uh, Awesome Rare, and Buckle Elite. That, that, those are the rarities. But yeah, so here is the Twilight Axes. This is actually uh, a different Twilight Axes. Yeah. I mean, it's the same Twilight Axes, it's just different, like, colours. Like, the uh, original Twilight Axes are purple. I know this, I've got them. So yeah, so fold them up, boop, just push. And there we go. It becomes a one single axe, and then when they split apart, it becomes two. Now, these things, I have no idea what they are, and frankly, I don't think anyone does, but whatever. So, the axes can go to the side. Now, the Bakugan, I'm going to start off with Aurelis, so, Aurelis Auxilitor, so, I was going to say Ultra, but there is no Ultra, so, just Aurelis Auxilitor, so, Two orange shields, 300 people, 6 damage, no effect, and apparently this is from the, uh, Evil, uh, or from Armored Alliance. This is the Armored Alliance Exalt War, and, uh, I have the diamond version of this from, uh, um, Armored Alliance, so, that makes a bit of sense. So, kind of makes a bit of sense. But, yeah. So, Exalt War. Here is the Bakugan, the horn is in fact manual, I took it out. Did that earlier. The B power is ugh, right there. It's a bit blurry, but it's there. So to fold auxiliary up, you fold the very tight horn in. You fold the feet up, body back, wings forward, and then the tail. And there is auxiliary all folded up. Now I'm going to roll him out. So, three, two, one, bro. I mean, he technically opened, but not where I wanted him. So I'm gonna try that again. So try that again. Da -da 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 -da. Three, two, <coughs> Ooh, <excuse. coughs> three, three, two, one, bro. No. Three, two, one, bro. No, what the hell? Come on. Get on there. 3, 2, 1, bro. God damn it. 3, 2, 1, bro. Oh, that failed. Ah, 3, 2, 1, bro. No! Auxilator, please! Get on the freaking gate card. 3, 2, 1, bro. No. 3, 2, 1, bro. God damn it. 3, 2, 1, bro. <laughs> Hey, I'll drop ya. Yeah. Bam. There we go. He's open. Damn thing. Didn't want to roll on for me. Grr. Hate that. Uh, anyways, the final Bakugan of this video will be Ultra Enoch. And you want to know something funny? I've got the diamond version of this Bakugan, so I've already reviewed this before. But this is the regular version of, of Enoch, so still going to review it. So, Ultra Enoch comes with a Red Fist and a Helix, 500 bit power, 9 damage, 
no effect, but pretty decent damage overall. Trust me, I know, I've got the diamond version. I'll leave a link down below for that video in the description. And maybe in the uh, corner here. Like, yeah. Like, go check it out when you want. Like, it doesn't matter to me. You can watch my videos anytime you want, really. You can what, be, like, what? Watching this in 2339. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. You could be watching it in the future. You could be watching it in the past. Wait, no, you couldn't be watching it in the past. That would be uh, rather weird. <laughs> no. No. <coughs> <coughs> No, you can be watching it anytime you want, and it doesn't matter. But, anyways, here is Enoch. Kind of sucks that we don't get, like, the pink instead, of, instead, but whatever. So, the B power is right there. The horns are manual. Wings are pretty decent. I, I actually, oh, that's a very tight spring. So, yeah, the fold up, Enoch, you fold down the horns. Like that, you fold the head. You fold the wings, you fold up the feet, you fold up the, the support thing, like the tail maybe, I think it is, and then you fold up the back. Oh my god, that's tight. There we go. There is Enoch, all closed up. Again, I have the diamond, so yeah. Not my first Enoch. Certainly won't be my last, I know for a fact. They're bringing out, like, more. I think they're bringing out another Enoch in Legends. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. So, gonna roll him out. So he is hoping that he actually, like, lands on the gate card or a core, unlike the other one. Uh, three, two, one, bro. Yay, there we go. <laughs> he landed on a core. Oh, hey, he has, uh, he's plus three, he's, uh, 800 B power now. <laughs> so, there is Enoch. So, yeah. But, however, that is not going to be end, because I'm going to open up the Twilight Axes. So, what you do is, for the axes, you look for the... I don't know if you can see it, but there's an arrow there, like, behind, underneath the hilt of the axe. And you have to point it towards the head of Enoch. So, three, two, one... There we go. It is open. Now, these little things get plugged into the peg holes on the side. So, one. And... Two. There we go. And that is that. So, aside from the, uh, my blade here breaking upon the impact of the floor, overall, pretty, uh, enjoyable. Um... Pretty fun products to open. One that I have missed out on, like, a lot. So, I've managed to get one, so that's pretty cool. I've been skimping out on the Battle Ant Pack, because I didn't have the money to get one until recently. The Pegatrix is actually pretty decent. Like, it's a really decent buckle, I'm not going to lie. Might get a replacement... Just for blade, just for the blade alone, and who knows. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a while since I've made one, but again, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know some of you guys watch my videos and aren't, so please make sure that you are. Help me hit one thousand subscribers. I've actually seen my sub count. It was previously in the, like, the 530s, but now it's in the 540s, so thank you who, the people that just subscribed. Oh boy, really need your help, guys, like, please, help me hit a thousand, it will be amazing, it will be wonderful, like, it would be an awesome thing to have. Um, Buckle Brad, um, I know you're close, so, hang, like, good on you, like, get up, like, get it moving, get going. Hit that 1,000, you'll... You've surpassed me, like, miles. Like, wow. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll try and get more so you can see me in the next one. Like, hopefully. Don't know when that will be. But, again, 
I'll see you in the next one. See ya, guys.